All right, if you're trying to put two files, two InDesign files together, what you would want to do is go ahead and select the two files that you want, open them up in InDesign. Okay, so you have file one and file two. All right, you make sure that your uh, pages palette is open. You can go to Window, Pages if it's not. Okay, it should pull up something like this. If you're in Document One and you want to uh, take these pages into another document, then you would go and uh, select these pages here. But actually what you're probably going to do is you're going to have a file one which is going to be your um, client documentation, the bulk of it. And your file two is probably going to be like your wireframe. So what you would want to do is you'd want to go to file two, your wireframes file. You would select all these pages. Okay, I'm holding down shift, make sure all of them are selected. And what I'd want to do is just select here in this little corner icon here, pull down menu, and go to move pages. Okay. And then what you do is, um, if you go to move pages, you can select all the pages. You can say the destination is going to be after page, and then this other file had three pages in it, file one. Okay, so we go after page three. And then, do you want to keep it in the current document? No, you want to go to the file one document. That's where you want to move it to. Okay, and it's still page three. Okay, you can either choose to delete the pages after uh, moving them or not. I personally always leave them there just in case, you know, as a backup or whatever. Um, and then I just hit OK. Now if we go to file one, you'll notice that your first page from file one, two, three is there. And after that, you get the pages from file two, you know, page two, page three. Okay. So basically it just transfers over the pages uh, to that file. Okay. If you want to start a whole new file altogether, you could just open all three, the new one and the other two and just combine them all into one document. Okay. Um, if your pages from your wireframes are different sizes, it's okay. It carries over the size. So everything should be fine. Then all you need to do is do file save as, and you would just name it your name. And, uh, as instructed in the assignment and hit saving you're all done